I mean, your Z fit. And Ed, Ed, Ed knows Sean Strickland, so he knows the whole story. So it's crazy how lit this story is. So let me tell my side for the last time, and that will lead us along. So I'm doing. I work with a nonprofit, Lose to Win. That's doing big things for the community, feeding the homeless. They're also really big on mental health awareness and mental health. They really helped save my life. I was going through a lot of depression, and um, the woman that runs it really saved my life. So. I'm I'm part I'm I'm the head of the program. I love it. I do everything with them. So we did a pro we're doing a thing. Spar me challenge. Um if you spar me and you can give me ten rounds of sparring, I'll give you a thousand dollars. That's it. It's, it's not me saying I'm better than anybody else, it's to bring awareness to amateur boxing and a lot of different programs we're doing. So if you can go ten rounds, good job. Congratulations, I wanna spot like you. Uh, so so far I've done seven you know, se seven people, the seven people to challenge. Um, two have gone 10 rounds. One kid's name is Darius, heavyweight, national gold glove champion. He's super late. And then the other one was Sean Schick. So now I'll get to how that happened. So Sean's fans hit me up and they like, oh, Sean to kill you. Sean to destroy you. So I'm like, I don't know this guy, but okay, I'll spar him. So um, then he has me over here, let's spar, come to my gym. So first I wasn't traveling to his gyms, but you know what? He seemed like he was kind of lit. He had a good following, so I'll go to your gym. My cousin passed away, and my mom is dealing with that kind of stuff and all that. And she decides she doesn't want to go, and I should cancel. But I'm a man of my word, so I go by myself without her. No equipment, nothing, just pull up. When I get there, Sean's like, listen, I got a fight in four weeks. I don't want to spar for real. I just want to work on stuff. Like, don't worry about $1,000. Like, you don't got to give me $1,000. I just want to work. I got, I got to spar later on. So I'm like, okay. So it's like, it's like work. So we get in the ring. He's easy work. Like, I'm touching him, playing, laying, oh, pick your hand up. Oh, don't do that. He's laughing. We're talking. Like, he's very humble. Like, I like him. Like, we're chilling. All of a sudden, like, and then um, Ibn Kaysen and Rob Safari, they're chilling. They, Rob know my body. Ibn knows my body. So they watching. But I, and I see Ibn, like, because I'm thinking Ibn, Ibn's going to be the eagle. He's going to work my corner a little bit. He's not saying nothing to me. Rob not saying nothing to me. They just did. Ibn's over there in the corner, like, mm. I'm like, what's What's going on, Rob? What's going on? Like, no love, whatever. So, round 10 comes. We sparring. Everything's cool. All of a sudden, he like, come on, pussy. I'm like, what the fuck going on? He's like, yeah, pussy. Ah, and I'm like, what? He's like, I'll die here. And I'm like, uh. I'm like, I got kids. He's like, fuck your kids. So, when he says, fuck your kids, like, yeah, he's a fuck your kids. That's when I'm like, oh, shit. I'm about to kill this nigga. And I look in the corner and I see their coach Phil with the camera up. And I'm like, oh, they lining me up. So I'm like, so I'm responding. I'm like, so what up? Ah, so what up? Ah. But it's I look crazy now. Cause it's only a couple of and it's only a couple of seconds. So he posts that couple of seconds, like, yeah, I just what I did. And then then he then he chops that couple of seconds up and makes another video as if like he and it's just so cool. So now I'm bothered by Rob Safar who's there. Rob Safar is a boxer. Pretty good boxer, I guess. So he's there, his trainer's there. They see the whole thing and they not they just laughing. He's in my inbox talking about oh, you being a bitch about it. Just like it's crazy. So that's why I posted me and Rob. We be your ass, Rob. Like let's be real. Like I fuck you up all the time. You are easy work. 